Hello everybody and a very warm welcome back to Tony Northeastern and I hope you're all keeping safe and well. Um, the last video I had some brilliant response to the black and white footage at the end of uh, the video and uh, as you had seen I thought uh, I'd show you it in colour and then you can see the differences, uh, the transformation, I think you can see a bit more in colour but uh, I do prefer the black and white reminds me of the old pathy newsreels and that sort of thing right so here we are we're still scribing and it's tiles um, yeah, just using a pen. As you can see, it's very, very random. The the lines are roughly about two and a half to two mil apart, something like that. And doing it random like this just makes them unique. As you can see, there's no specific skill to it. It's just making sure you don't go too big. So you're looking at between three to four mil spacings which is roughly about a foot wide for the old slate tiles which is roughly about right because they were quite big tiles so as you can see I'm just picking out as long as you go all the center to center all the time and it don't take that long to do, to be honest. And if you do make a mess of the odd tail, like I've just done there, it's painted, you're not going to see it all that. Well, as long as the majority of tiles are correct, with one line in between two, as you can see, one line between two. And then you should end up with something like this. Now, is there much difference between that and this? Not a lot.
And who remembers Antonio's Barbershop? Well, we haven't got time for nostalgia because we still have one more piece of card to add to this roof. So as you can see, I've already done one piece, so it's just a case of doing this piece. Now, the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to gently hold it in the middle and just finger gauge it from this edge from right away around to the far side because of the lip there I can just about do that so that's what I'm going to do with there and then um, we'll just have to mark it down from this tie in 41 millimeters then we can scribe the card and then glue that one in the last piece then we can uh, lift the roof off of the station because uh, we're going to have to strengthen these cardboard edges and not only that, conceal the light when uh, the light's on because if you come down here you can see right underneath them tiles so I'm going to have to block that gap so here we are at last, putting the final piece of the tilings in. So I'm doing just a little bit of PV on that tab. A little PVA glue on that tab. And then, as you know, the rest will be just super glued in. Um, I've already scraped the paint off of these trusses as you can see it's nice and shiny so we're down to the bare metal and uh, here goes the super glue now as before we'll just do one or two trusses at a time and uh, being very careful not to knock the spire off again and once this is done I'm back and lift the roof off of the station and work a bit work with it on the bench because all this extra card being super glued in has given it some extra strength so here we go make sure I get really tight underneath that underneath that tie in I need to pull it right up to the tie in before the glue goes off now I was mentioning before about the gap we've got under here and um, we might have some light bleed under there so hence why the roof has to come off the station so I can add some card in between the trusses um, not only to stiffen it up but to um, hide the light There we go, all done. Now this is something you don't see every day. I'm taking the roof off. It should all just lift off. Nice and easy. There we go.
And here it is on the bench. Now, this will probably be the only chance we'll get to see the roof from this side um, while it's off of the station. And as you can see, the scoring has turned out quite well. And it was well worth doing for a couple of weeks anyway. So the next piece I want to look at is the gaps between the trusses. We need to fill them in because when the lights are on the light bleeds between this edge and the roof um, on the station and the walls on the stations. So I need to fill in just between these trusses. And uh, we have cut some card already. This is 2mm thick by 4mm wide. What I'll do is I'll stick these together, which will give me a 4mm thick um, spacer, as it were, to fill in in between each one of these trusses. So here are the painted strips of card after they've been glued together. Uh, this is where I'm putting them in between the trusses. Uh, if I zoom in, you'll be able to see what I mean. As you can see. And this piece along here will be painted black. Now that these cardboard strengtheners have been put in to hopefully block out the light and um, strengthen the edges up, all I'm doing now is just painting the insides here black so that you don't actually see the green paint if it does happen to appear. So that's the, the plan now by doing this. So I'm painting that and then the cardboard as well. And it also helps to keep the card flat. I've noticed since I've put those in the card has gone quite flat as you can see. You're probably wondering why I'm doing this because you're probably never going to see it but you never know. Um, when I come to fill them in it you might actually see the the dirty grime on the on the cladding but uh, I just thought I could uh, take total advantage of the uh, roof being upside down as it were so as you can see I'm putting plenty on this one at least going over it twice and darkening it in this area here and then just slowly fading it out so when it goes to this one up here it's very very little just putting very little on there just to tone it down a little bit and uh, might as well do the battery box as well which is here oh, but you never spotted that did you it's there, it's been painted now. You can hardly see it. So, yeah, I'm just taking advantage of the roof being upside down. And uh, making use of these weathering paints or powders. Just a light touch up there, like so.
With the soot now done on the inside of the station, I've just finished putting the two coats of grey on the tiles that we started at the start of the video. So we shall leave that to dry before we uh, go any further. Um, so while that's drying, we've got some drain pipes to make for the uh, station still left to do which is for the guttering that we put on last week so we shall concentrate on those as you can see we have a drawing in front of us of a, a downpipe or drain pipe and um, its total height is 74 millimeters it's slightly stepped back and then it comes out and steps out again and it's because of the way the wall is built and we have two built made already um, as you can see, these are slightly longer, these are 90mm long. And um, yep, they're made out of soldering wire, uh, 0.8mm in diameter. And basically I'm just following the drawings, measuring it and then bending it. Um, it's, it's as simple as that, so it's 12mm for the first bend. I'm just getting it along those pliers and then we just bend it to shape. So there you go, that forms the top half. And then I just measure 56mm from that first bend to where we bend it next. Now I might do this a little bit smaller than 56mm, I might do it around about the 54 mark. Just gives us a little bit of room to add the swan neck or the spout at the end. So we shall see. And then we bend it back the other way, making sure that the top bends that you've already bent are in line with where you're just about to bend it and then bend it back again so we've got the makings there of a guttering and it's only six mil from that bend to where we cut it off do is where that cut is we'll just bend it up slightly to form the spout these are so quick and easy to make so make sure the bends are in line again and just bend that spout oops and then just bend the little spout out Then we have a little tiny spout at the end, like so. So there we go. We just got to make some little brackets to glue onto them. Uh, one at the top, two in the middle, and one on the base. Actually, I bent the spout the wrong way around. It should be facing out over. Let's just to see if I can do that. Here we go. Just cut that down a bit after I've painted it. There we go. And with some little bits of card um, glued on there, I can now paint them a crimson red. As you can see, they make a really good downpipe or a drain pipe. Next time you'll see these, they'll be on the building. 
Well, we've come a long way this week. Um, we finished all the scoring and all the tiles are now done. So there's no more scoring left to do. This side's had two coats of paint, so that's just waiting for the black mat to highlight uh, the tiles. Um, we've done the suit on the inside as well. And um, that's where the roof's going to stay now until it's glazed and finished. As you can see, it's um, just about fits on my little workbench. And of course, there's been the three drain pipes. And here's one. And here is the other one. So, I think that's all from me this week. And um, until next week, stay safe everybody. And um, enjoy your model of railways. Bye for now. Bye.